when I was, I don't know, five or six, I was always drawing cartoons and, and um, loved looking at books with paintings in them and just have always been really keen on anything visual. I was going to be an art teacher because when you grow up on the prairies, nobody even thinks of being a full-time artist. Uh, and then I found out about Alberta College of Art in Calgary, which was a studio program. And because I'm not a rocket science in academics, that was more suited to me. So I did the four-year studio pro program in Calgary. A secretary that my dad had, she was an artist and she mentored me kind of, sort of, when I was young. I would go to her house and we would paint and I just loved her and she kind of got me started. They're incredibly generous spirits and they're incredibly talented artists. And the combination of those two things uh, adds so much to our community. They produce work of stunning quality. They mentor and support numerous local artists. They've created businesses that have made a significant contribution to the local economy and the tourist base. And it's hard to find a nonprofit event that they haven't donated something to. I think that's more grant and uh, that's why I feel a little bit uh, intimidated to be accepting this award um, because he would give away his house, he would give away me, easy, he would give away his son like oh well take it all, take it all. Um, but anybody that calls that wants a donation he will try, he will do. Nix has been really generous with her time and I think the, the biggest impact she had was when she was the chair of the CNIB I Appeal event three years ago and she spent a year contacting artists, helping to organize the event and generated more money for the CNIB than had ever been raised before in that event and I'm really proud of her for doing that. Grant and Nixie are very generous with their time and their artwork and their energy and their skills. Um, they, they don't hesitate to add, answer questions for other artists that are eager to learn certain techniques. So Nixie and I have always been really supportive of emerging artists and um, when we had our gallery out at the farm for 20 years, all sorts of young people would come and visit, well not just young people, but all sorts of young artists would come and talk with us and talk about what we were doing and how in the world we'd managed to make a living for ourselves with selling paintings. We give lots of talks, we um, do lots of um, workshops, we try to encourage people, um, we don't have any secrets, we tell them everything that we do and tell them how to do it if they ask and uh, really try to encourage them they're so prolific, they create so much work that's out there, it's in our local restaurants, it's in art shows, it's in their galleries, it's all over the place and it's incredibly recognizable, they have a very distinct style and it's beautiful work, it's really, really stunning and they are beautiful people to go along with it. I mean, you need all kinds of things to make a successful community, and arts and culture are critical. We've been here for 20-some years. First piece of local art I bought was a Grant Lear. It's been hanging in my kitchen for 23 years, you know, and it gives me as much pleasure today as when I bought it, and art of any description does that. And you put the pleasure they give together with the recognition they bring and the contributions they've made elsewhere, you know, it's really important to recognize that. We love doing what we do, and we love showcasing our work. We're shameless self-promoters and we need to, in order to survive. Um, and Nanaimo's been behind that from the get-go. I'm not saying it's all always been easy being out in Cedar or downtown Nanaimo. There's lots of seasons where things are really grim. However, we remain very optimistic. We're certainly as excited about painting as we were 30 years ago. And I'm glad we're painting here. <laughs>